Uh, they, the TV is a great tool, but it's also a great weapon against God's people. There's been more perversion. There's been subtleties that have come through. Uh, some of our most beloved movies in all of history are full of wickedness and, and, and actually mocking God. You look at, at movies that, I mean, everybody's seen. You look at The Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz is one of the most God-hating movies that there is. It, it is one of the worst movies ever made in all of history. And you go, oh, because there's a witch in it. The witch is the least of our problems. You start off uh, with, 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 with the young little rebellious girl running away from home, doing stuff, you know, and her family loved her. But, but you know what? They kind of make a game, and she meets a little snake oil salesman. And he's a crook, and you know it. He's a liar and a fake, and you know it. And then all of a sudden, she gets whirled away in a storm. And storms come in our lives. And all of a sudden now she goes into this little world. And here's these people and they revere and worship this Oz. And, and they tell that you, you need to go to the Emerald City. Well, I read something in my Bible about a book uh, made of beautiful stones. And the only way to get there, you've got to follow a yellow brick road. And I read in my Bible about a place called Heaven. It's got streets of gold. And it mocks it. And all the people that worship it are little midgets. Little funny, funny midgets, we just make fun of them. We represent the lollipop guild, and they're all just, they're little cartoon characters. And, and, and they're little midgets who have faith in this Oz. And you look at, at these little midgets that are just funny, just to be laughed at. They're just cute, aren't they cute? Running around in munchkin land. Following the yellow brick road. And then you look at Oz. The great and powerful Oz. And then the little dog is the only one smart enough to finally figure out that it's that same fake that we met before. The snake oil salesman. And he's just a stinking fake. And he's the one pulling all. Oz is not real. Oz represents God. And that snake oil salesman represents the preacher. He's the one pulling all the strings. He's the only thing scary about God. Why would God be scary? And really, he can't do anything. And, and you know, in the end, isn't it a sweet message that you could just click your heels? The answer was inside you all along. You never needed God. You never needed to follow a yellow brick road. You don't need to go to heaven. You don't need to go to a yellow... No! No! You just click your heels and repeat in your mind. Oz will do something good for you today. Isn't it just a good? It's all inside you today. And they got a bunch of snake oil salesmen preaching that junk every day on TV. But see, it's one of the most beloved movies. In all of history. And we all know all the songs, all you know, you know exactly all the way through. You don't need to go to Oz for courage. You're already. You've got all the courage inside you already. You don't have to go to Oz for wisdom. You already figure it out. You how can you be, look, tum, tum, your heart's all messed up. What do you mean? You don't need to go to Oz to get your heart right. You're one of the most compassionate people around. The author of the book and the makers of the movie are some of the biggest God-haters that have ever lived. They were just a lot more covert back then. They are very overt now. And it gets pumped into our house all day long, all night long. They say now that the average, during school time, the average kid is watching about six hours of television. I sure hope we don't have any average kids around here. You know, we could just break open a book or something. And I hope that our folks are monitoring. If you have a TV, I hope that you're monitoring what's coming through to your kids. Beware of the witch. Better beware of the whole program. 